Well, how's everybody doing? Another video. As you can see, I've got these uh, pretty dry spots already. It's beginning or about mid-May. We had a slow start to the spring. Had some decent rain a few weeks ago, but this last week was upper 80s, low 90s. I'll uh, add a picture in here that shows a couple days ago, I could see these areas were heat and drought stress and now they're already turning brown just two days later the rest of the yard looks good I know I have compaction issues in here because I brought fill dirt in that had some clay in it so I know that's packed down and that is part of my problem that the water's not penetrating in so I'm gonna be trying out the simple lawn solutions liquid soil loosener I'm going to be using this as a wetting agent. This is uh, not any kind of a liquid aeration type deal. Names can be a little deceiving, but this is going to help water penetrate down in better instead of sitting on top of that clay layer that I have. And hopefully I can alleviate some of these drought problems, drought stressed areas. I'm going to leave one untreated area about 10 by 10. So we'll have an example of if it's working or not. I'm going to be using the new push sprayer for it. I've got this filled all the way up. I'm going to use a full bottle. Gonna use the built-in agitation that I got on the pump to mix it for me. It's mixing right now. I'll let that run for a couple minutes, then I'm gonna spray this area. I've got another section out back that has the same problem, but I'm not running 200 feet of hose to get out there. So I'm going to do the, just this area, set up some sprinklers to get it watered in. There's a bottle right over here you're gonna see on the ground. That's the area I'm not gonna treat. This area right here will be our untreated check area. I'm gonna go over it all a second time, make sure I've got good coverage. And then I'm gonna get the sprinkler set up. It's a new setup, I haven't tried it before. I got some new sprinklers, uh, Melnor was nice enough to send me to try out. So that's what I'm gonna be using to try to water this in. 
All right, here's the sprinklers that Melnor sent me. It's the Melnor XT. Got a, two different ones. Got a kind of a sled base. And then got a spike style also. It's the exact same sprinkler head, just the base or a spike. It says 85 foot maximum uh, diameter. I've got a hundred foot of three quarter inch hose and then I'm dropping down to 50 foot of five eighths hoses in between them. So a hundred foot plus a 50 to get to the first head and then two more 50 foot of five eighths. This is gonna say that it's doing 40 foot one direction. I'm guessing I probably am not even gonna get 30 feet with three of them going in that much uh, hose. I don't have crazy high water pressure or high volume we're on a well so i'm not expecting 85 feet of coverage that's maximum that's ideal perfect conditions which i definitely don't have but i'm hoping i can get 30 feet out of them i'll be able to cover a little bit of area with three of them running i hope so i'm gonna get these set up i guess it's also worth noting in case you weren't paying attention or unfamiliar with these have what you would call a pass-through design or where you can hook them end to end take the cap off you can just keep stringing garden hose along they got the diffuser screw to adjust spray pattern you can do full or partial circle with them by flipping this little thing down and these little arms right here will uh dictate your spray or full circle whatever so let's get these hooked up Well, it looks like uh, three of them is struggling, but for my purposes, it'll work. This is the first one in line. It's got a pretty good spray pattern. That white jug right there is the untreated area. So it's getting watered exactly the same as everything else. So this probably like eight by eight area i didn't spray that with the uh, soil loosener but everything else got sprayed the middle sprinkler is doing decent also being on a well my pressure fluctuates quite a bit pretty rapidly the third sprinkler is kind of struggling I'm maybe getting, you can tell right now my pressure's dropping. It's shooting about 15 feet right now, one direction, so a 30 foot radius. As the pressure comes up, it'll shoot out about another three, four feet. But for what I need just to water this in, I'll let them run for a few hours and we'll see what the results are results will not be in this video it'll be in the future this might take a little while to notice any effects from it but you can definitely see these very distinct uh, distinct dry spots come over here into the rest of the yard needs uh needs to be mowed ton of grass clippings it's growing like crazy color doesn't show up great you can see i've got like dark and light so nothing else is dry this uh this is all just grass clippings can't keep up with the mowing right now so if you want to see results of the simple lawn solutions soil loosener you're gonna have to uh watch future videos and see what the yard looks like catch you in the next one